helicopters often appear to fly at relatively low altitudes compared to other aircraft. This may lead people to wonder how high a helicopter can truly fly. Are they able to achieve the same altitude as airplanes? What happens if they go too high? The maximum altitude which can be reached during forward flight typically depends more on the ability of the engine to breathe the thinner air than the rotor's ability to provide lift. It also depends on the weight of the helicopter's body. Helicopters with turbine engines can reach altitudes of 25,000 feet during forward flight. However, helicopters cannot fly as high when hovering. When traveling forward, the blades generate more lift compared to hovering, allowing the helicopter to climb higher. The typical maximum height of a hovering helicopter is about 12,000 feet. However, if the helicopter remains in ground effect, that is, if it is hovering close to the high ground, its maximum hover altitude will be higher. Helicopters typically fly at altitudes of 10,000 feet, which provides the optimal atmosphere for maneuvering. As the helicopter climbs in altitude, the air gets thinner, requiring the blades to work harder to generate the same amount of lift. With thinner air, the engines cannot breathe efficiently and the main rotor generates less lift, limiting the ability of the helicopter to ascend any higher. As a pilot approaches the maximum operating envelope, they typically experience extreme turbulence. The helicopter becomes incredibly unstable. It is likely to pitch upward and roll to the left. The blades may also stall, causing the helicopter to become powerless. The record for the highest altitude flight in a helicopter is 40,820 feet. It was set in 1972 by a French aviator while piloting an SA-315 Lama, which is a single-engine helicopter. The record stands to this day. After reading about the record for the highest altitude, a helicopter test pilot named Didier Del Sale came up with the idea of landing a helicopter on Mount Everest, which is the highest mountain peak in the world. In May 2005, Del Sale completed his goal and became the first helicopter pilot to land a plane on the top of Mount Everest. The peak of the mountain is 29,000 feet high which surpasses the maximum operating altitude of 23,000 feet for the aircraft that Del Sole flew. The flight involved years of planning and several test flights. The real reason that helicopters don't routinely fly to those altitudes is that they are not designed to do that. As with everything in aviation, performance is a trade-off between engineering, aerodynamics and commercial pressures. There is a big market for helicopters that can fly up to, say, 12 to 15,000 feet. The market for helicopters capable of rescuing climbers from the top of Everest is at best limited, and the technical demands of building a craft routinely capable of such a flight will push the costs up dramatically. That's all for today's video. Like and subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next one.